Four people have died and dozens more have been rescued attempting to cross the English Channel. The new UK Home Secretary is facing pressure to act after promising to bring down criminal smuggler gangs prior to the country's election. In Boulogne, the end of a grim twilight rescue operation. The air had escaped from an inflatable dinghy in the channel. Around 60 rescued, but four people died. It is the latest tragedy in these waters of northern France. Tens of thousands come here every year with just one unifying aim, to get to Britain. By lunchtime, the quay was back to normal. The people along this coastline are wearily accustomed to the disruption, tragedy and debate of migration. The dangers of these small boats are obvious and so is the enduring political residence of them crossing the channel. Rishi Sunak made it an article of faith that he would stop the small boats. Keir Starmer's approach is very different. He cancelled the Rwanda plan and is focusing instead on enhanced cooperation and stronger security measures. More than 13,000 people have already crossed the channel this year in small boats. The new Home Secretary promising a tough response. The further loss of life in the channel this morning is truly awful, wrote Yvette Cooper. My thoughts are with all those affected. Criminal gangs are making vast profit from putting lives at risk. We are accelerating action with international partners to pursue and bring down dangerous smuggler gangs. This is not a new problem nor a new argument. The promise to cut migration haunted a succession of governments. The previous Home Secretary, whose Rwanda plan has now been abandoned, wrote, reports of more deaths in the channel are a tragedy. As a country, we must do everything in our power to stop the boats and put an end to this vile trade in human suffering. Back in France, this is the boat that pulled 49 people from the waters of the channel, now heading back out, prepared once again another rescue, another tragedy inevitable.